and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn and together we sold a house, we got rid of all our fast stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called Nutshell and we bought a static caravan in Devon and here we are. I came down yesterday and... The weather's appalling. The weather is appalling but we're not going to let that stop us. No. Oh no. So let's get straight into it. I warn you there are tears this week but I'm absolutely fine. This is how the week unfolded. Hello good morning and welcome to Sunday. I'm very sad with my blood pressure. It's not performing at all well. All month it's been coming down lovely. Lovely. Been taking my tablets, due to see the doctor tomorrow. I was going to tell him how well I'm doing. Yesterday for no reason whatsoever. I, like, I wasn't even stressed. It was 190 over 116. Bottom figure's coming down lovely. This morning, 198 over 114. I mean, it just puts me in a bad mood, to be honest. It does, it puts me in a bad mood. I'm not gonna let that bother me today. We have a lovely day lined up. We're going to see Julianne. She's got a couple of bits wrong with her boat. Glenn said, let's check to see if it's like an easy fix. We're going to go to Julianne's and she's promised us a vegan curry. Then I think we're popping around to see Jeff and Sally and there's rumours of cheese and biscuits on the card. Glenn made both of these plans and I think his idea is, you know, with the £20 shopping budget I'm doing, is just eat out at other places. It's not the idea of the game. I can hear church bells again. I did notice that the church in the village is celebrating its 800th birthday. Maybe it's part of birthday celebrations. I don't know. So, Julianne's moored in Milton Keynes. Glenn's got a bag of tools. I've got Cluedo. Got everything we need. Canal quite busy this morning. One boat going down. Anyway, let's go find Julianne. Do you know what? I can smell the delicious curry that Julianne is cooking already. There is a delicious smell emanating from Julianne's boat. Look at these two. Just look at them. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the cat's going outside. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just keep an eye on them. So keep an eye on them. them. Let's get my glasses on. Let's find out we've what we've got. Boat. boat going past in the rain. It's been busy this morning. Yeah. yeah. Row. Another oh, boat going go. past. Look, look at that go. one. I think it is oh, wait, Professor do, Plum uh, in the conservatory uh, with uh, the candlestick. Candlestick. One out of three. Professor Plum, da, da, da. I am the winner for the second time. You are the champion of Cluedo. Yeah. So we're moving on to Cluedo Junior, and it's called who, who ate the cake? Who ate the cake? So in this game, we have to guess who ate the cake at what time and with which drink. So when you get into a room, yeah. you cross this one out. Okay. But there's a drink in each room. Right. So it's just when you cross it out, you remember that you've been in that room. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, darling. Can we just say the junior version of Cluedo is way more complicated than the actual game? I think it's just you have to play it a few times. Later. Do you think? So guess what? The rain has stopped. Glenn has fixed one bit of Julianne's boat, identified another thing that needs fixing, we've had some lovely curry, we've played some games, we are now heading back to the boat, stopping on the way to get rid of the rubbish and empty the Elson. Is this a beetroot bulb or a beetroot salad leaf? No, it's beetroot, a beet, it should be a beetroot, try, try and pick a big one. So this one here, have a, that's a massive plant. Yeah, have a look, have a look. Yeah, oh, that's a little beetroot. Can you stick it back in? Will it grow? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, they, they've that's obviously, the biggest plant. Yeah, they've obviously got some more growing to do. So we've just come in. Now we're going back out again. Yep, 
we've done a load of washing and now we're heading out to Jeff and Sally's house where we're going to do some cheese and biscuits and I think play an old game of Uno. I'm on a winning streak after my win at Cluedo this morning. Yeah, I'm on the water, Glenn's on the beer. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> How many cards did you pick up, Lisa? I had to pick up 14 cards, but oh, it's okay, it's cards. okay. Yeah, don't any worry, <laughs> I, I've just got a lot to play with now. A lot to play with. Yeah, Glenn's back? down, Glenn's down. No. I've brought it back, I've brought Thank it back. You. Is that Glenn 136, yeah. Yeah. me 112, yeah. Jeff 147, and you 148? Yeah. We've only done five games. We're doing cheese and biscuits now. So, so this is like the first yeah. half, but I am in the lead. Got a cheese <laughs> selection. <laughs> I've loosened it for you now. Try that. I'll go and get the towel. I've it under the water. You done it? No. Yes. 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 It has been a lovely day, full of friends and playing games. It's a big day tomorrow. Results from the doctor. Fingers crossed. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Monday. Today is going to be a good day. There's so many things going for today. I love Mondays. There's a feeling of a new start every week. A new month as well, August the 2nd today. That means in two months time, I'm going to be walking a marathon with Chloe and Hayley. Yep, a marathon. So the doctor's ringing me today with the results from my test. I'm a little bit nervous about it because when the nurse was doing the test, she said a couple of things that made me think, oh, that doesn't sound good. And to be honest, I've been thinking about that since I went for the test last Monday. So hopefully, hopefully there's nothing to worry about there. Oh, I have just spoken to the doctor. I feel quite emotional, really. I feel quite emotional. Right, I'm, I'm speaking to Avni from Anglen, yeah. I promised to ring him straight after I spoke to the doctor, but I'll tell you first. So, kidney function, fine. Tick. And that was the one that the nurse was uh, worried about. A little bit of an issue with my liver. A little bit of an issue. So, not alcoholic liver disease, but, but overweight fatty liver disease. A little bit of an issue with that. But, I've just had such an amazing conversation with my doctor. I said, I know what I need to do with lifestyle. I'm doing it. I said about the walking, about eating less processed food, all of that. And we just had a really positive conversation. And he said to me, with an increase in the walking, with an increase of eating good food, the liver issue should sort itself out. He said to me, this is about living well as you get older. And as you know, my dad had such a long decline in health where all the issues that I'm on the tipping point of, well, I think the high blood pressure, I can safely say I got that, but all the the issues that caused my dad that slow painful death over a decade the doctor feels that if i keep doing what i'm doing i can avoid that these are happy tears these are happy tears i feel positive that i can make the difference as I continue. I knew today was going to be a good day. I knew it. Knew it. Anyway, going to go tell Mr Warner all is well in my world. See you later. Where am I on my food challenge? I hear you ask. Well, on Saturday night, I did a lovely tomato based sauce with some chicken, some broccoli and the rest of the couscous that I'd cooked last week. So that was good. Yesterday, not such a challenge really. We went round to Julianne's 
and we had vegan curry for lunch and then we went round to Jeff and Sally's and, and had cheese and biscuits for dinner so basically I didn't have to think too hard about it the mints that I brought and I separated into smaller containers is actually looking a bit of a funny colour in the fridge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook that now I'm just going to fry it with some onions, cook it and then leave it in the fridge cooked because I think I'll get another couple of days out of that. I've also got some chicken in the fridge which I'm a bit worried about the dates on. So uh, yeah, try not to give ourselves food poisoning whilst continuing the challenge. Oh and I forgot to say, after I've been for a walk and done some work, I'm going to try and make the soft cheese and the yoghurt today. So I'm very excited about that. Like, I'm reasonably excited about making soft cheese. My work has sort of ground to a halt. I've got a new hard drive. Instead of just copying a few files over, oh yeah, I've done 3,574. And now the whole computer's just gone... Mm. It's like frozen, mid-action. Won't let me close anything down, won't let me do anything. That, not helpful. My own fault, admittedly. But while I'm waiting for my computer to do its thing, I'm gonna do my thing. I am going to make soft cheese. So, I've been watching this wonderful lady. Uh, the channel's called Rafika's Kitchen. And she's got this video on how to make homemade cream cheese. So this recipe calls for two litres of milk, two to three tablespoons of extra olive oil, one lemon juice and salt to taste. I'm going to halve all these because I just don't think we'd use that much. Right, so I've got everything. A litre of milk, half a lemon, about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. I've got to bring the milk to the boil. And it says when it starts to boil, turn the heat down. I'm going to do that now. I wonder how much cream cheese... A litre of milk will make. I'm going to add some of the lemon juice. Oh, here we go. And she said, try not to stir too much. Oh, you can see it going. It's curdling. I'm going to add a bit more lemon juice. It's here where she adds some olive oil. And then. She whizzes that together. I think I might be making cottage cheese. Oh, it's certainly not smooth yet. I'm gonna add a bit more olive oil to that. Okay, it's better, still grainy. Do you know what? I cannot believe it. That is like proper cream cheese. It's a miracle. It's a cream cheese miracle. Because Glenn loves black pepper and I don't want to add more salt, I'm going to flavour it a little bit more olive oil and some black pepper. Ta-da! Well, that's my lunch. Looking forward to eating this. So, I'm off for a walk. I am going to leave my camera here with Mr Warner. Uh, the reason I'm leaving my camera here is because Glenn's left his camera at work again um i'm walking down to miramar's and then after i've stopped and had a cup of tea with miramar i think i'm gonna go further so our chimney's been leaking it is a bit of a mess around here but i just can't see where the water is coming it seems to be coming in this corner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean the seal up so i've cleaned it all up get some sealant on it so i've resealed it need to tidy it up when it's dry hopefully that will stop the uh, leak wherever it's coming from i'm back for my walk i'm gonna get dinner going on and then i'll get some work done because i've done no work today i was waiting for that hard drive to update okay i'm about to run some cabbage some onions and some carrots through the food processor all right there we go gonna throw that in frying pan with some olive oil i'm gonna throw in a bit of garlic with that too Actually, actually, I've had these for ages. I've got a minced garlic there. I'm going to throw that in as well. Some garlic granules, just because it gets these used. Going to throw in some curry powder. About that much, I reckon. Right, I've thrown in the meat that I cooked earlier. Just reheating that through. 
Then I've got some of this in the fridge, tomato and chilli chutney. I'm going to throw in a few spoonfuls of that. Do you know what would have been absolutely great to throw in there? Some mango chutney. But I didn't have any. But it doesn't matter. This does look a bit of a mishmash. But Mr Warner, I'm hoping you will love taste this. Sensation. It's hopefully a taste sensation. Morning and welcome to Tuesday. I'm off to the office today with Mr Warner. I've got to count t-shirts and hoodies to a stock take. The last couple of weeks have been so crazy with orders. I've just been like getting more stock in and more stock in and and it's been it's been quite frantic to be honest but I need to count what we've got now because I placed a whopping order so we don't run out. Over the last few days I noticed that my skin was looking a bit well, less than wonderful. So this morning, Tropic Glowberry. I keep this in the fridge because it says on it, keep in the fridge. And I forget it's there because obviously it's in the fridge. The only time I remember that it's there is when I open the fridge to make dinner or something. But I thought I'd drag it out this morning. I'm going to use it for the next few days. Let me know if you, if you see a noticeable change. Anyway. On we go to Northampton and let's, let's be productive today. Not a bad day today. That's a helicopter going over. I'm sporting the grey Be Kind t-shirt this morning. So we're at the office. I am going to walk the t-shirts down to the printer and then I've got to sort out PayPal. Some issue with PayPal. They think I'm dodgy. So... I've just spent much time on the phone to uh, PayPal. I've spoken to people around the world, yeah, saying, why? If you said my account's going to be closed and their decision is final. I rang up, I was like, I haven't done anything wrong. They've told me it was an error, their end, and they're going to sort it all out. So, oh, well, that's a relief. So we're leaving the office. Oh, we're far from finished. We are far from finished. We are squeezing in a quick visit to my mum's and then we are coming back to the office. Printing should be ready by then. Hello. Mum's garden's still looking lovely. Glenn's on a mission. What are you doing, Mr Warner? Having a little tidy. Looks better already. Tidy corner. So mum's got lots of lights in her garden and she loves them but they, they've stopped working and it's because the solar charger is under all these somewhere so let's see if we can dig it out. I found it, it was buried deep. Let's put it somewhere. There we go. Should get plenty of solar there now mum. Glenn's on a mission there. Having a proper tidy up. Look what my mum's made Glenn. I feel like I'm going to get in a right mess with it. <laughs> We're back at the office. Glenn's just picked up a, a big box of baseball caps, which is branding for a customer. I, oh yes, it's time. We've got more stuff that needs to be dispatched, but I'm gonna do, I've done a form, look, a stock take form, so I can see exactly what we've got. We've got stock everywhere, and it's still not quite organized, so. I'm going to do that while I'm waiting for the printer to finish printing me some more t-shirts that I'm going to dispatch this afternoon. You know Glenn made me that desk, that workstation down that end of the office. Well, that's actually Debbie's end of the office. So Glenn's just cleared this space. He's going to make me a space right here. We've got a whole load of clothing. Some printed, some unprinted. I need to count it all and put it in the relevant box. Done lots of lovely packing for orders but can i just say just look at my tissue paper wrapping much neater glenn will attest that i am not the neatest when i'm packing usually i'm not allowed to touch like wrapping paper or whatever because i just get the tape and go like this it just goes to show when you practice you get better it's been a late one this evening just packing up nobody here in the building all orders apart from two which we're waiting for stock on have been fulfilled i'm feeling very proud of ourselves two gallons of petrol two pots of paint a slow cooker two heaters 
three or four pillows, charger, some bowls, piece of work top, uh, an inverter for Liam, a load of Harry Potter books. And Glenn's going to try and fit that in. That's a random selection of stuff there. People say there's no room in the beat with smart car, I beg to differ. <laughs> so, Glenn is just messaging Julianne to see if she's around. We came across some Harry Potter books. Glenn got them from one of the storage units. They've been sitting in our office. Bastian loves Harry Potter, so he's welcome to them. So we're going to see if we can drop those off. By the time we drop those off and we get home, I mean, it's going to be nearing half eight, nine o'clock time we get back. I'm worried that the chicken that I bought last week is going to be a bit on the turn. Can't eat dodgy chicken. So basically, we are going to stop and get some food on the way home. I'm not very good at this challenge, but you've done pretty well. I have. Oh, I have. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, yeah. Glenn. I feel like I've yeah. done pretty well. Yeah, what trip. What I've realised with this challenge is this: that buying the meat and expecting it to last a week isn't a good move. But what I could do going forwards is do ten pounds. For like three days i could chicken. do that so we're sitting here eating our chips i know there's a rainbow over there and it's like dinner with a view there's a hot air balloon over there mr warner's just spotted it there it is i don't know if you can see it on the camera let me zoom in i'm zooming i'm zooming it is there it is would you like to go up in a hot air balloon no, I wouldn't like to go up in a hot air balloon. I've watched too many YouTube hot air balloon disasters. Don't search it, it'll spoil a hot air balloon for you forever. Past the Aston Martin Heritage Centre. It's where yeah. they used to be built. Yeah, they Not built there anymore though. We're pink. seeing all the sights tonight. Pink Cadillac. Well. Just gonna drop these off. To Julianne. Why right, we dropped the books off at Julianne's, Magnus and Bastian were very pleased with those and we are heading back to the boat. It's been a long day today. I'm gonna let Mr Warner go. I'll shut the gate and I'll walk back. Need to get in those steps. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. It's about half past nine. I've done loads of video editing. I'm on it this morning. I am off for a walk now. Before it gets too late, before I can't be bothered, I'm gonna get my walk in. Gonna get my miles in early. Mr. Warner, what are you up to today? I'm off to Caroline and Charlie's boat for a laugh, for a push. For a last push. Well, last push before we go away anyway. I'll take the camera. Oh, we've heard that before. I read my horoscopes this morning. I'll do like a dabble. A dabble in astrology. Usually, it always just says good things. Not today. Oh, my month of August. Well, I'm doomed. Uh, the 6th to the 8th of August. Well, when you read my stars, it looks like some tragedy is going to happen. I wish I hadn't read it now. Anyway, enough said. I'm going to get going and... And I'll take you with me. Now I need a good audio book if I'm going for a long walk and I can't listen to the one that me and Glenn are listening to together because otherwise on the drive down to Devon on Friday I'll be ahead of Mr Warner's and I'm going to download this one Mrs England by Stacey Halls set in 1904 I'll download that and have a listen flotilla of swans this morning just look how big those babies are so i'm at carolyn and charlie's we're just off to uh, go to b and q charlie's bought himself a, a freelander he's, a, he's proper off-road here so he needed to tank a bit more sturdy and we're listening to a bit of sounds like tammy winnett country and western it's a beautiful day out here. Fortunately, not too hot. It was a good idea to get out early before it gets too hot. There's some babies over there. Tiny babies. I haven't seen any tiny babies for months. Here's some more. 
I've made it to Grove Lock. 3.68 miles. I'm going to go a bit further before I turn around. Turning around now. Sun is quite warm. Should have worn a hat. So I stopped at Carolyn and Mirror Mars for a cup of tea. That was much needed. On the way back to the boat now, I've just spotted some unusual looking ducks. Or maybe they're geese. Let me zoom in. What are they? Never seen ducks like that before. So panel in down this side, beading in. Uh, Charlie's just got to finish this side because he's got a new bit coming tomorrow. Um, some beading to go in and a little bit of silicon sealer, but that's in. That pump's working, the switch is round there, which now turns, hold on. Gold pump on, toilet's in, that's working, they've been using that. This, unfortunately, we couldn't finish. It's the one with a overflow, so it needs to be uh, changed anyway. So that's gonna have to wait, unfortunately. Oh, back at our lock. I'll shut this gate here. Just stop the water flowing over the edge. I'm almost back at nutshell now, but I've done 7.78 miles and I so want to do eight. So I'm actually going to keep walking. 7.96 miles. I'm just walking up and down the side of the boat now, determined to get to eight miles. Don't care how I get there. Oh, it's these last little bits. Can't wait to get in the shower. What have we done? 7.99. Oh, the excitement. Eight. I've done it. Eight miles on the dot. That'll do lovely. Well, it's four o'clock now. Where's the day gone? I've cleaned up. I've had a shower. I've chatted to some friends. That's it. Day's done. I'm going to sit down, put my feet up, do some work. I'm going to sit right there next to the open hatch and just crack on with some work i'll catch you later not quite finished completely but i've managed to get mm. beck's bed up mm. we haven't finished this bit here but that's basically the bed it's in there's a bit of storage underneath the drawers are still there but it means that the, she can now sleep in it because i did promise her i'd do it thank charlie's you, just got you, charlie's just got to do a bit of tidying up yeah a little bit of tidying up how fun is that i don't see any hot air balloons for ages, then see two in two days. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Today is the day before we go away. Often I find the day before you go away as exciting, if not more, than actually going away. We're packing the car today because we want to make an early start tomorrow. We've got an 18th birthday celebration to go to later today. And we've got some jobs to do. Boat jobs, getting rid of the rubbish, emptying the toilet cassette. We've got to go to Morrison's. Glenn's got to pick something up from an Amazon locker. Yeah, jobs, jobs, jobs. That's all right though, because tomorrow we're going to Devon. I managed to get the washing out this morning. It's almost dry. The Elson and the bin emptied. Now on our way to Morrison's. Mr. Warner just said that I've got a bit of a glow about me. Do you know why? I've been putting some stuff on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just at the Amazon rocking. Let's give this a go. Okay, let's put the number in, I think it is. 952245. 952245. There we go. We're back from the shops. Glenn's springing into action. He's got Jeff's lawn mower and he's going to just mow the lawn. It's so windy and warm outside, perfect day for washing. So I've got a couple more loads of washing to do. We've got the stuff to take tonight. We need to pack the car. Got a little bit of work done. Yeah, yeah, it's all going good. Oh, I put all the sheets out and now it's big rain. I don't know whether to get it in or hope it'll blow over. I'm not sure. It continues. 
new terrain the washing is now wetter when i put it out there that's disappointing anyway this afternoon i have made to take to lewis's 18th birthday celebration i made some couscous salad and i made a slaw with a lemon garlic dressing but that was stuff left from last week's shop i just thought might as well use the veggies otherwise they'll get thrown away can i just say i love celebrations birthdays weddings new babies baby showers anniversary parties just love them any reason to celebrate in my opinion we don't celebrate enough yes. miramar's cooked up a feast oh, yeah. happy birthday to you Woo! oh that was such a lovely evening we are setting the alarm for five o'clock tomorrow oh yes we need to be heading down that m5 super early so we miss all the traffic we'll set the alarm for five o'clock we'll get on our way we should be down there by well before 10 we'll say good night now and we'll see you in the morning early morning it's five o'clock and we're off 6 a.m traffic jam made a rule for herself because it it's a quarter to eight traffic is flowing lovely we're about an hour and three quarters maybe an hour and a half from where we've got to get to but the need for coffee is strong Sitch more services half a mile of what we got got a mcdonald's a costa just got it all it's quite busy here this morning a lot of people have have had the same idea as us head down the m5 super early in the morning flipping out it's heaving it's heaving oh that was busy <sighs> well we've refueled as in we've had coffee and uh, sausage and egg McMuffin. It was delish. We just need to get fuel and then we'll be on our way. Just one hour, 30 minutes to go. Oh, oh, oh. And we're off. Not far, not far now. We're just a couple of miles away and the sun's come out. Just thought, wonder how my plant's doing. It needs some water, that's for sure. it's good to be here right we've we've not even unpacked the car properly yet and I'm show you something. and glenn glenn started with the jobs already so the right it's so obviously where some sort of step or decking was. okay i see it she stinks this stuff up. oh man it's like magic that's amazing He's got so many jobs to do this weekend. I'm going to stroll around to the shop. I want to cook something delicious for dinner tonight. Need a couple of ingredients. Hopefully I'll get them at the shop. If not, I'll walk down into Brixham. Yeah, the I door think. wouldn't open and shut properly, but no. Mr. Warner. I've been busy. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's like a dream. Yeah. Like a dream. It's so much easier walking down that hill than it is up. Anyway, let me show you what I got. What I went for to the shop originally is for some chicken, preferably chicken thighs, and some soy sauce. And and if I was lucky, a, a lime. They were the three things so I went for. Let me show you what I came back with. They had no fresh chicken in the shop. Walked down to the spa. I thought they had no fresh chicken either. But then I saw this on its own, a whole chicken. The plan was satay chicken, because it's Glenn's favourite. I'm going to roast the chicken. I'm going to do a peanut sauce, minus any soy sauce and lime. Mm. Anyway, uh, I bought these as pudding for dinner. I bought a local newspaper. I quite like to see what's going on in a, in a different town. So, and look in these, look. I bought two delicious Cornish pasties for lunch. They're still warm. I'd call that a semi-successful shop. I forgot the soy sauce and the lime. Look at those bad boys. Well, I'm very proud of myself, Mr Warner. 
I've managed to complete yeah, what, the properly. Sudoku challenge properly. No what, cheating. No cheating and it all fits. <laughs> Glenn don't even believe me. But I did. I mean, it did take me several hours. I mean, I didn't sit there for several hours. I kept coming back to it. But that is completed. Oh, Glenn's going to come over and check now. He don't even believe me. I made a few mistakes, but look, that's right. So we've got a very simple chicken satay here. So in here, just some coconut milk, some red Thai paste, some peanut butter. We got some of the slaw left over from last night, some chicken and a packet rice, which is coconut and lime. The sauce is a bit spicy, so I might put it in a jug so you can pour your own on. It's a little bit spicy, go easy. So dinner was good. It was simple, but delicious. All right, yeah. It was all right. That's what I was aiming for, you know, all right. We're both knackered because we've been up since five o'clock. We're gonna call it a night and we'll see you in the morning good morning and welcome to a very very wet saturday it's so rainy outside that we don't even think we can go out i'm sitting here watching the olympics just watching tv on a saturday morning is not a normal for me i've got jobs to do and i can't do them the rain has been relentless all morning we've been watching the olympics but i said glenn it's no good we gotta get out we need some stuff for dinner i can't face the supermarket i just i just don't want to so i said why don't we go to a farm shop i've i've clocked one as we've been driving past let's go to the farm shop pick up some bits and pieces to get us through it's supposed to rain all day today all day tomorrow but after that no rain Go. Come on, let's go. At least my plants getting watered. Oh, I've missed these little streets, Glen. Yeah. This is one that hasn't actually driven down any of them. No, you wait. I'm bringing my smart car down next month. Yeah. I'll be whizzing all around. So this is the farm shop I'd seen. Churston Farm Shop. Oh, I think they got a garden centre as well, Glen. Oh, love a good garden centre. So let's have a look. We've just been in the farm shop. It was very lovely. Glenn's just popped back in there because he thinks we've been charged too many times for avocados. I mean, I know it's a first world problem, but anyway, I'm staying here. I'm not getting involved. Right, avocado gate sorted. The lady had overcharged us. It's not raining, Mr. Warner. Executive decision has been made because it's stopped raining. I mean, we don't know how long for, but it's definitely, it looks like it's brightening up. We're going to, instead of driving back to the caravan, we're going to go into Bricks and park the car, have a, have a little stroll around. That's, that's what we're going to do. I did want to check out the open air swimming pool. Oh, yeah, that'd be we nice could, corner, yeah. should we do that? Yeah. Should we check that out? Let's do it. Oh, look, Glenn, there's a museum there. Oh, yeah, I saw Brixham. Brixham Heritage Museum. We'll check that out another day. So, the car park in Brixham's busy. I mean, it is a Saturday. I, I don't know why I was expecting it to be empty. So, now me and Mark were down here last week and they actually saw dolphins and seals in the harbour. They had such a, a great time. The kids did so much crabbing and yeah, they spent a lot of time down here. The seafood market's open and the takeaway. Right, let's go this way. What I'm looking for isn't on the signpost. We've never been around this side. Wow, look at all these dinghies. Loads of them. Ah, oh, there's some of the colourful houses. It's all uphill, Glen. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Warner, he always has to run up steps. Where does this lead to? You can't pick it up on camera. But this is very steep, this path. We're both out of breath. Anyway, we're going to have a look. I think it's called Shoalstone Outdoor Swimming Pool. It's a pool filled by the sea. Where is it and where are we? The other way? No, the other way. Oh man. That's where the marina is, it's around there. Oh, well that was a nice walk in the wrong direction. At least it's all down here on the way back. 
I spot the open air swimming pool right on the other side. Oh, yeah. That's it around there. I don't think you can pick it up on the camera. Let me zoom in a bit more. There it is. Down we go. Do you know, I never noticed that blue gorilla the last two times we came here. More steps. Here it is, Shoalstone Seawater Pool. I didn't know about the tears. Did you not know about the no. tears? I had a moment earlier in the week, but... A week of reflection, a week of mixed emotions. It was, because your dad passed away four years ago. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. so yeah. yeah, always makes us think about the people we're missing. Hmm. Got a couple of messages to say. I've lost, mislaid, two emails. As in, they came in, I read them, I was like, oh, I'll respond to that. Can't find them now. I have no idea where they came in, but I've lost them. So, I've checked. So, yeah, I know, I know. I need to get more organised. So, the first one was to a lady who is recovering from leg surgery. She got in contact, say that she was watching some of our old videos. I can't find the email. I cannot find the email. I was going to say hello. I think the lady might be called Sue. I think. But anyway, I will find your email and I'll give you a proper shout out next week. So sorry about that. The other email that I've lost is one from Dominique. She ordered a hoodie and then we had a message exchange. And I just wanted to say thank you to Dominique because I hadn't gone back to her last email. Now I've lost it. I do apologise. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> cracking on so uh just one last thing to say the 10 percent discount in the shop is still on there so if you want to grab yourself 10 percent discount i'm wearing the the sport, the, the sport no, it's graphite gray graphite gray today yeah That's i beautiful. like this one yeah. i like this one so 10 percent is still available glenn i've got a new product coming it's got a new product it's a surprise product this is one i don't know what it is um It'll be, so watch the space. I think it'll be uploaded maybe next week. Um, so it's for, it's for the, the, shop. It's for for the, the shop. shop. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's for the shop. Yeah, and it's a new so product. Exciting. It's a new line. So exciting. It's not clothing. It's not, it's clothing. not clothing. No. no. We will be down here at the caravan until Thursday. next Thursday. So we've got a bit you're gonna, of... You're going to you're gonna have a lot of southwest footage. Oh, I'm excited. New places to explore. So... Jobs to do as well. Oh yeah, Glenn's got a whole list of jobs to do and he hasn't been able to do them since we got here because it's been raining. The weather's been rubbish. We're going to leave you here and we'll see you next week. Take see care. Later, bye. bye.